over to a private uh, photo tour. It uh, um, was rated number one on TripAdvisor. This is our last stop before five weeks in the so hopefully there's music. I will check in for yeah. a yeah. to let you know how it's going. Bye! Got it. What did they mean? What? It's like a riddle. So, Kalalea is another sleeping giant. Okay, so it's the profile of a woman laying on her back like a beast. Got it. But, her face. Wait, wait, but like a what? Like a beast. Her kind of Madonna full mm -hmm. bra going on there. Pregnant belly. And then her hands down by her side, knees, and her toes are poking up past the tree. And you can see. Yep. So it's actually, this is a much more graphic rendering of the, of the <laughs> human form. And she plays a very prominent role in the mythology. So Kalalea, with her pregnant belly, uh, is one of the daughters of Pele. And you'll hear about Pele. The volcano goddess. The volcano yep. goddess. We call her Madam Pele, or Auntie Pele. She is actually the original creator of the Hawaiian Islands, etc., etc. She's kind of the, the big kahuna, basically. You know, we have Kane, who's the main god, but Pele is the one who you don't want to mess with, that white pink alabarax with her Pele's children, blah, blah, blah. So, Kalalea is one of many, many children of Pele, who is rather prolific. And Kalalea is cool because she is often depicted in the mythology as a pregnant warrior woman. The big old pregnant nice. and like a spear of blood, like, come at me, girl! You know, defending nice. her kids. Yes. And they got right, these really fun little purple flowers. Of course, those aren't going to close up. Closing up slowly. Yeah. That's so cool. So it's a defense mechanism against herbivorous creatures. You know, like cows or something that's going to eat grass horses. So when it closes up, see how the underside is kind of a, re a red-brown color? Makes it look like a twig. So instead of it looking like a delicious leafy green, where a cow would be like chomp chomp, that they have their defense mechanism is to actually make themselves look unappetizing. That is so cool. Yeah. Matt, you're going to be all over YouTube. Yeah. In the front, come out. Yep. That was basically the Manta Ray Mountain. So this is the Hanalei Valley that we're looking at right now. And, and there's a big rain cloud out there, but if, you, if that was a little clearer, you could see the huge Hanalei Bay the biggest bay on Kauai. And then this valley is full of taro farms. So all those square fields down there, those rectangular fields, the, the, fields, the, 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 the purple potato, that's one of the, the main staples of the Polynesian diet. I like this much more in a cloudy way. It's really? much more Jurassic Park.
is the lei we made in lei making class. As you can see, they're purple orchids, which is typical for Hawaii. Oops. And they said if you want to uh, make leis at home yourself, all you need are the longer needles, and you can actually usually find them on eBay. And then just get the, the orchid, purple orchids and um, some long string, and that's about it. Like this. 